My name is Michael Charles Baylog. I was a lieutenant in the United States Naval Reserve. In the two-year ROTC program that, um, as I said, between leading into my junior year, between my sophomore and junior year, they had a, um, I think it was six weeks. We had a six-week boot camp-like experience at the University of North Carolina uh, because they had a they had a much bigger ROTC program than Duke did, much more facilities, so they staged it there. And it was six weeks of uh, dealing with a Marine gunny sergeant who wanted us to all shape up before we shipped out. That was very short, but very intense. That was my boot camp. It, the, the, the basic organization and structure of the Naval Service and the basic organization and structure of shipboard life it provided a pretty good introduction into those aspects of naval service for, for, for a junior officer. I want to say that you may be looking at the first married midshipman in the United States Navy. My wife and I met my sophomore year in college and by my junior year we had decided that we were going to get married. Uh, I was at Duke, she happened to be at Carolina, but we overcame that. And we made the decision that we were going to get married. And um, I happened to be at the unit one day talking with the chief um, at the ROTC unit. And I said, uh, I happened to mention the upcoming marriage. And he kind of looked at me kind of squinty eyed and said, have you talked to the CO about that? I said, no, I didn't know I had to. He said, oh, yeah, you do. You do need to talk to the CO about that. What I didn't know, but what turned out to be extremely fortuitous, Admiral Zumwalt, had just published something that said that midshipmen could be married as of June 1st, 1968. That's the day of our wedding. So the captain was um, the captain at the unit was a little taken aback, but it it, it uh, we got married on June 1st, 1968. Then my wife had I I I mentioned I was in the ROTC program. One of the things you do in that program is do. Um, uh, a short two two week sea cruise between your junior and senior year, uh, and I was stationed on USS Springfield, CLG seven out of Norfolk, and my wife came up to visit me one weekend, and she arrived at the base at, at the uh, main gate at the base in Norfolk and said, uh, "I'm the wife of this midshipman on this uh, midshipman that can't be married. You can't be a wife." So I think they eventually wind up talking to the. Uh, the base commander's office to agree that they could let her on the base to come and see me. So, but I may be the first married midshipman in the United States. It's, it's certainly a little, little interesting story that uh, nobody else here can tell. She was USS Springfield CLG-7, and my responsibility was just to, to be where they told me to be, to see what I, they told me to see, and uh, we, they, they put us, you know, they, they put us on the watch rotation as a midshipman. Well, as a midshipman, your only duty is to answer questions when asked and observe what's going on. So it was an opportunity to get a sense of shipboard life uh, before you actually reported to one.